Now, we uh, keep hearing that our children need to be well educated in the STEM subjects. That's science, technology, engineering and maths. However, the phrase maths is too hard is a common cry in many households. So how do you combat that attitude? The Discover uh, Primary Science and Maths programme from the Science Foundation of Ireland aims to bring children out of their textbooks and get more hands-on with their learning. The awards of Science and Maths Excellence are celebrating their 10th year and Evenly Hulloyne, maths educator and TV and radio presenter, is with me now. I was wondering, uh, even, how do I pronounce, is it Ace Me? (laughs) <laughs> I A-O-S-M-E I think, I think the, it's just better to say awards of science and maths excellent rather than I, I wouldn't be able to do the A-O-S-M-E A-M-E mm, Ace me Okay Now how much science is actually taught in primary schools at the moment? Currently I mean there's quite an extensive science curriculum but whether or not teachers first of all get time to engage with it or second of all feel that they're equipped to engage with it is a completely different matter and that's why this programme kind of brought in 10 years ago um, and, and on uh, the website primaryscience.ie teachers have access to about a hundred different science lessons that are actually directly engaged with the curriculum. So even if they never did science as part of their degree or if they haven't done professional development in it, they can still teach science in the classroom. I was wondering about that because Mm -hmm. um, many people are who become primary teachers particularly are humanities orientated themselves. Yeah. You know, they're they're capable of teaching geography and um, languages and so on, but they have... Uh, because they weren't educated themselves in science they feel mm-hmm. I can't do that and it's trying to actually break that link Pat because I suppose maybe 10-15 years ago if you were training to be a primary school teacher maybe science wasn't offered in your mm. secondary school maybe you didn't have the experience of it and then you, you probably don't feel confident in it but this um, programme actually offers CPD to teachers in schools and you can access that through the primary science.ie as well um, but as well as that it, it's all there for you all of the resources that you need the lesson plans are there and you can try it out with your students and even if you're not feeling confident yourself and if it goes wrong you will learn from that because science is about actually making okay. mistakes. We, we decided to find out how it actually works. Lauren is a fifth class student in Griffin Valley Educate Together School in Lucan taking part in the programme they have since it, it began in that school and she told our reporter Ashley Moore about the science project that she's involved in. Me, my friend Brona and my friend Emma um, we did a project on DNA and part of our project we did a um, extracting DNA from a strawberry. <laughs> Tell me about that. Well, we tried it like for tests at my house, and the first time it didn't go so well, like it just didn't work. Then we tried it again the next Friday, and it didn't work. And then finally, like the Friday before the uh, Intel judges came, it worked and we were kind of, you know, glad. <laughs> were you relieved? Yeah, because we, we kept on thinking that it wouldn't work and that would just be a disaster. We had to start our project again. <laughs> but, um, see, we had to get rubbing alcohol to distract the DNA. Mm-hmm. And that was kind of the main part of the experiment. But um, we needed stronger rubbing alcohol, so that's why it didn't work. So you found the solution to your problem? Yeah. I thought it was just really good fun, like, you know, it wasn't boring, it wasn't too, you know, it was kind of interesting as well to learn about all the stuff. Isn't it great to hear a child saying we were extracting DNA from straw, (laughs) you know, just routine. But what I love about that, and I think that this comes through as students experience science, they become more articulate in reporting back what they did and how they did it. And and what I loved about Lauren there, she said it didn't work a couple of times. So it's actually learning entrepreneurship. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't always get it right all Uh, of the time. She was in fifth class. Abigail is in sixth class and she's taken part in numerous programmes during her time in the school. And she told us about uh, two of the projects that she's been involved in over the past few years. We did a survey around the school to see where people thought the most bacteria would be found and uh, the options were the teacher's phone, the school desk, the door handle, the toilet, the fridge and the cupboard. Most of the teachers went for the teacher's phone and most of the kids went for the toilet <laughs> but it turns out that the that the most bacteria was on our school desk did you look into what kinds of bacteria you were finding or were you just looking to see if there was bacteria on all of these things? Um, well, we were just seeing like how much bacteria there was and we looked at um, making bacteria and we also did another thing um, 
how far germs can travel. We uh, got photographs of people sneezing and seeing how far the sneeze was going. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> how far does the sneeze go? And I think it goes very far in, in, indeed. Who, who designs the programmes for the schools? And are there ones for, you know, second class and a different mm-hmm. level for third class and fourth class and so on? Well, the programme is just means that you participate as a school in five different steps. And I think that's important because you're doing it as a whole school. It's not one teacher taking on the responsibility of doing everything. So part of it is you have a look at Green Wave, which is looking at spring and can we see frog spawn? Can we have a look at primroses popping up? And you're just getting students to observe nature around them. Another uh, part of the programme is that you'll do two activities in class. And as I said, all those activities are on primaryscience.ie. So you can choose ones for your second class. You can choose harder ones for your sixth class. Then you can have a scientist come and visit the school and talk to students. And we find that that really enthuses okay. them. Um, Siobhan Ray is the coordinator of the project at Griffin Valley Educate Together School and she gave uh, examples to Ashling of some of the things that they've been up to. Well, for example, they use electric circuits to design and build a lighthouse uh, with a switch. So you can switch on the light, switch off the light. Uh, there's a bouncy ball activity which is made using a substance called borax and they, they, they you know, they learn about the interaction of how materials interact with each other. Uh, there's a wonderfully gross one involving vinegar and milk which uh, creates curd and they they have to squish it with their hands and of course volcanoes are always a huge uh, attraction hugely successful one and another great one for teaching basic principles of fair testing and recording would be the ramps there's a fabulous energy and forces experiment which involves testing cars on different types of surfaces so all these things they teach the children to systematically test and record and test again and we have a thing where you know you do it three times uh, so that you make absolutely sure that the results you observe the first time you know you've seen consistently over three times. Mm -hmm. So um, that's the teacher's perspective on all the things that they they can do in schools. Um, What about the awards? What's the incentive for a school to get involved in the programme, first of all? And then what do they get if they win? Well, they'll get an award of science and maths excellence, which they can share as a whole school and celebrate the collective um, opportunities that they took in learning science. But I think for the teachers, it's a good opportunity to make the curriculum come to life because all of the activities are directly related to the curriculum. And you're looking at engaging students in science improving their numeracy getting them to report back they're really enthusiastic about their learning with this so if a whole school takes on the five steps and if they register before February uh, 21st a scientist will actually come to their school without them having to look for one because okay. oftentimes parents know people but they will get a scientist from Science Foundation Ireland to visit the school and we're hoping this year that more than 500 schools will register and take part in the um, Discover Primary Science and, and, yeah. and that's I mean program. the important thing is for teachers to realise that you know a lot of the work is done for them. They don't have to go back to basics and start swatting up themselves on the no, basics No, no, no. I mean, a lot of the opportunities are there. They're probably already doing it and asking students to look for, you know, signs of spring coming along or in trying to do some of those static experiments, you know, with balloons or yeah. with magnets and things like that. But this is actually just acknowledging then all of the work as a school so that your school could get this award of science and maths excellence. You can hang it up in the, in the corridor um, and, and just really kind of introduce students to the wonder of science. you know yourself, uh, teachers are saying they're hard pressed enough as it is in the classroom Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. without adding something else. I mean, you've suggested though that it's actually just replacing something they'll already be doing but in In a a better framework. In terms of doing it exactly. So they're probably already doing this but isn't it wonderful to be able to bring it in as a whole school, as a whole staff where the principal's involved, the teachers are involved, different classes are involved and I think it just kind of brings it all together and students you'll find because when you get them at this young age they get so curious and enthusiastic about it they'll be talking about it in the schoolyard doing stuff at home with bubbles and and GIF and looking at densities and things like that so it's great to do for the So it's all about encouraging the kids to to get involved in this and not to be intimidated by Mm -hmm. the idea the the number of times I've heard oh honours and maths is too hard or this that and the other Um, but the the parents perspective Ashling spoke to Claudine she's three children who've participated in the Discover Primary Science and Maths programme and this is uh, some of what she had to say. One of the things I really noticed was that they were learning report writing in um, fifth class and my child was 
much more able to explain what was going on in science after learning about like report writing and being able to explain the steps or why am I doing this or what's the result after the work that I've done? What have I seen? What have I discovered? It's actually teaching them an awful lot more than just the science and the maths, but even communication skills yes. and ways of expressing yeah. themselves and being confident in what they're yeah. saying. Definitely, definitely. They're so well able to communicate ideas and, and also to express their questions. So then they, they're learning where to look for the answers for the different questions and to look at things from a different point of view and a different perspective. Well, what do schools need to do if they're enthused by that parent's reaction and by everything else they've heard? They can just go to primaryscience.ie, register their school and take part and the awards will be giving out then in May of this year. So it's something that they can look back on the academic year and, and be proud of doing. Very good. Even the Hulwine, a member of SFI Discover Science Excellence Squad and herself a maths teacher, thank you very much for coming in. And that. also we want to say thanks to Abigail and Lauren in Graffine Valley Educate Together School in Lucan and their teacher Siobhan Ray and parent Claudine Nolan.